Um, all I'm doing is running the cable through here. Yeah, this is right. Don't have Jesse here to film for me. So, I mean, this way it slides down. When he gets in the trap, he can't come back up. I mean, I, he would really have to get it lined, but this, you just see, shoot, it just falls. Works well, been doing it for a while. Um, kind of like that setup. Just going in here, making my loop. Oh, it's always fun when one of them goes in your finger. Didn't get that one cut very well, it's okay. Okay, right here, we're leaving our loops just small enough. I'm driving the stake in the bank, similar to what guys are using when they're rebar sets. It's the same thing, except that he can run down the cable. Um, we'll kink the cable a little bit, haven't had too much trouble with it, what little I've had. Um, I mean, it just, it still slides over it just fine. And what I'll do on the other end here, I mean, that's a made up, it's, she's good to go. It's this fast, run on the other side. What I like here is that I can roll all of this up. You know, it's easier to storage. What I'm gonna change is I'm gonna get a connector on here. That way I can connect these straight. That way it's just one piece of cable. Just roll it up like you will your uh, regular cable restraints. Um, this on the other end. On this end, it'll, I'll, uh, I carry uh, different uh, styles of weights with me. Um, you can use, oh, like an old gunny sack type set, or um, actually one of my buddies I was, is a contractor, and I was able to get a lot of insulators. And this thing goes in between them insulators perfectly. You gotta break them apart, put them on there. I mean, uh, old center blocks, I used to use the center blocks all the time. They're just so dang heavy, I'm getting lazy, but connects it right through. I'll show you when we're out um, actually setting these sets here in a little bit um, and uh, explain a little better, but it's two ends there. She just runs right down, weights on this end, just drown her. Um, uh, this morning, actually already ran, uh, crew and I caught a nice otter. Once again, pay attentions. You just got these in, these are just Duke number fours. They work for beaver too, maybe a bump small, but they still work, great for otter. See how that, it's not falling all, so I'll come in, reset them, get her dropping. But uh, that quick, uh, the tool is something you can, uh, need to get, or you can crimp them with anything. I just don't know how stout it would be. It's nice to have a crimping tool, but stake runs down to the end to the weight. Um, we'll get out there and show these sets. I was just going to show you real fast how quick and easy that is. Uh, of course, I've already got my stuff pre-cut, but... Um, and one day I'll get the connectors and show you, but it, uh, I see, gotta watch them, but yep, that's simple. I'll show me making a few more and, uh, we'll get out there and actually get in the field and do some real, uh, sets. In case someone's wondering about the pan tension, and I don't recall if I showed it in my last one, it's just this little bolt right there. I'm gonna loosen that up and see how it's holding. I'll just wait one second. Took a few more turns, I think it's spinning on the back side, but see, now she's just dropping freely. That's all it is. So, and uh, I checked some of these already, my pans were just fine. So, anyway, um, literally that easy. So, pay attention on beavers and otters, it really doesn't matter as much, but a coyote, you probably will. And I may even use these four coyotes um, if I get in a bind and need a few extra sets. So, that's, that's all there is to it. Just, it's that easy. All right, crew, what are we doing? Trapping otters. Hopefully. How many are we going to have? Seven. Oh. Oh, I don't know about that. We only set seven traps. It'd be doing really good. I don't think there's seven otters in there. I'm guessing a pair moved in here. Crew and I came and set some last night. Um, we do a check this morning. Really cooled off. Part of it froze. So we'll see. We'll give it a few days. It seems like they kind of always bounce in and out of ponds. Um, Definitely was signed there. I seen him there earlier this week, so I called the guy. Um, he goes, absolutely, get him out of there if you can. So I assume it's a pair versus a whole family, but I don't know. 
We'll see. <laughs> definitely some sign. Not crazy, but definitely sign. I think we'll catch them sometime this week. Hopefully. Set us some drowners, didn't we? Really windy yesterday, so we didn't film the sets. So we'll uh, go check them and uh, maybe show what we did if we got some. What are you doing? You're going to freeze your butt off. You need to get your bibs on. So we're going to get yeah. after them. Yep. All right. First day running. I'm already cheated. I'm pretty sure it looks like we got one across the pond. Right here. Poor little old buck didn't make it either. Seen him yesterday. Uh, if he got hit by a car or what? Yeah. This one's drug out too. Uh oh. Oh my god. Alright. Nice big old otter. Come here, crew. Yeah. All right. As you can see, we got this cabled off right here. And then just made the slide just like they would on some of the cable looks into be in good shape. Looks like every one of my every one of my traps have been hit. Um, finally I had the sound gun on this one. I'm not real sure what happened on the rest though. Yeah, that's a nice old otter there. Yeah, are you cold? Hey we got one! I think we got one over there, but I'm going to have to put my stuff on and get her remakes, but yes. Here we go. We'll take it. Yeah, it's your first otter, isn't it? Let's see if we got lucky over here. No, nope, that one's still there. So anyway, we got a couple more. We're going to run around and check them and uh, get our stuff on. We may even come back today and get, let it warm up because it's cold out here right now. All right. I don't try not to step in it too much. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We gotta, we're gonna make a caster set right here. See where the beaver's been coming up. Dam's just down the creek. But we've got a handful of sets, so we're gonna get to it. These are ones I showed how to make earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and hand that down here. Right. Here's my wire undone a little. It's gonna get all twisted to hell. That ain't bad, is it? All right, boys. Do what? You want me to hold this? I'll grab it here in a second. This is what I was saying. All we're doing is taking our stake. Right here is their slide. This stake, the reason it doesn't matter because the goal is uh, for him to run right down the cable like that yeah. and go and drown. It's just drown or set. It's just a, we used to do it with wire when like too heavy for him or something? Yeah. So then he'll just run her down there and drown. I was actually hoping it was a little deeper. Um, didn't have my hammer yesterday, so it's not just making a shelf here. That's all we're doing. Nice spot for him to set. These things aren't near as weary, so we don't have to. I mean, I did a bump maybe, but you sure don't have to get crazy. A lot different in our coyote hunting or trapping. A little painting. Woo! About a good one. I'm gonna have to look at my pan angles on all these. Evidently it'll go off though, huh? You guys wouldn't have laughed, would you? Do what? Uh, got a feeling an old number four would have not felt well though. We don't get too much sand on it. To where it has trouble going off, but I need to cover it. I bet it'll still go. And I didn't make my own caster. Didn't actually. Well, I don't have, haven't caught any beavers in a while, so look like she's getting some use. 
still see that a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah she's not, not quite as potent as our other stuff, but it's pretty stout. Hopefully the beaver comes swimming up, hits that scent, heads up here, and he's been coming up here anyway, so I'm guessing he'll do her. I'm a little concerned about that much sand on it, but I bet it'll work. If not, we'll readjust it and say it should have, so we're gonna head on down. We got a handful more sets to do. You can see the dam down there, so we get a few around it. They've got a little area up the creek here where they've been staging and feeding, so may have to do something about it. The only problem is it's not as deep, so I'm worried about uh, getting them to drown right. So we're gonna head on down and keep trapping. Sounds like the truth. The cruel crew's coming to get us. Just heading down the river, trying to find good spots, just walking it. Keep heading down, boys. Find some sign here and there, just ain't really hit that pocket that's shown a whole bunch of just real fresh stuff. I like I don't feel I've necessarily found their home yet. But I mean, there is some activity, but some of it's pretty old. I think when the, we had corn up in that bottom, there was a bunch of them in here using it then. So, we got three more sets. We're trying to find the right spots. You can see right there where they've really been coming up, but it's fairly old. So, we're gonna keep pushing them. You got anything out there? I'm not on the pond. You're not on the pond? You think he's in one of our drowners? Huh? Let's hope so. All right, back over here where we caught the otter yesterday. Um, I actually had somebody contact me last night saying they knew where some otters were in a pond. And I said, oh yeah, well, where's that at? And they uh, messaged me back, said that they'd seen two in this pond. They told me where it was and I, I told them, I was like, well, there's just one now. So hopefully we've got the other one. Um, we set a few more sets trying to get them caught. If I catch that uh, last one out of here, I'll go ahead and pull and then uh, we'll just uh, get ready and probably switch over to beaver completely. Um, which I got one more weekend of otter. Um, I need to double check. I think mink's still in also. I know muskrat is, but uh, there was quite a bit of mink sign down there. We, we I say we don't have a lot. I, I've never caught very many, but I've never really set yeah, for it's them. it's black. It's black? Yeah, I bet it's okay. But uh, anyway, crew and... Off. It's still on. Crew and I was going to go get after them. Isn't that right? Yes! Yes! Uh-oh, that's oh, a stinking muskrat. Got a muskrat, bud. Yeah, you've never seen one of them, have you? I didn't know that there was any in here. Okay, well. See very many of them little buggers, but I'll take it. We still got a few other sets on the Kind of neat, huh? Mm. What do you think of that? But good cheap orange. Yeah. We don't catch too many muskrats, do we? No, it's not <laughs> it's not the season too. Yes, they're still in season, but we just don't target them. So well we're gonna get set back and uh I'm gonna double check these other sets, see what's going on. Kind of yeah, it's still there. Who knows that other other otter might have bounced out. Um, usually, usually when you catch your mate, uh, sometimes they don't last very long. And I'm a little concerned because I had uh, two of the other traps set off. So I really don't know what to think. But we'll give it a few more days, see if it comes back looking for its buddy. And it may still be in one of these sets. I've got a few more sets to check. So we're going to get this little guy out. It's a decent size. And uh, make sure we don't have one somewhere else. Well, there's another rat. Well, he's not near as big. Okay, we got a few more sets. We'll uh, get this one remade and uh, run over there and, uh, and hopefully have that other otter. And we'll be done with this place. Make sure we get a few rats so that'll save the rats a little bit. Yeah, you're not fighting these places, but you'll do. Oh, yeah, not near as big as that one 
other day. So, all right, I'm gonna get him out of there, get that put back in there, and uh, hopefully catch this last otter in the next day or two. All right, <laughs> turn away. What do you think, crew? Let's try not to end up in the drink here. Let's see here. Something ran this trap down. We don't know what we got yet, but something sure did. I can't tell about the one across the way. Put the boys with us. We already had us a muskrat. Let's see what we got here. Probably nothing. He probably just pulled the set down. But our wire looked like it worked right. We shall see. What do you think, crew? What we got? Um, I don't know. Oh, that was deeper than I thought. Uh oh. Got the beef. Well, he didn't even run it all the way to the end, did he? Not a bad little beaver. Oh uh, yeah, a beaver. A beaver. Got one, didn't we? What do you boys think? Uh, just a decent sized one. Hey, I guess them drowners work, don't they? He didn't even run it very hard. He's not huge though. Just a decent one. I guess he's a little better than I think he is, isn't he? Good catch on him. Come up to our little caster deal we built. Got oh, it's huge. It's huge. That's right. Now we'll set another set here and I guess just leave that same caster. You're scared of what? Um, You're scared of the beaver? No, I'm not. What are you scared of? Oh, you don't want to fall in? I don't want to. There's a Step right there. Don't go down. Step over there. Uh, this one I had so much trouble getting what? hid last time. I know it wasn't hid well. But on beavers, it usually doesn't matter. Let's see what we did. This is just a caster mound. Come right up here. He was going to that. Front foot caught him. I told the boys it may be a couple days, but I already caught one. Head across here and see what we got. There's something on this one or not. You can see that one's still intact, it's still up there. And who knows, there may only be a couple beavers in here. I told the kids, I thought if we caught four, we'd be doing pretty good. And we've already got one, so. It's not real deep water to put drowned him good, didn't it? He didn't even make it all the way down the deal before he was done. So, evidently they're working good. Maybe we'll have another. Freezing cold. Freezing cold? Yeah. It's not very warm. Not sure what we got. Got the boys crossed. Screwed it one bring. Hey, don't get wet. Then you're going to be complaining because you're cold. If I'm not yelling at one of the big ones, I'm yelling at the little one. He's still testing the waters, isn't he? Turd. All right. I guess he, since he sees me in the water, he wants to play too. All his eyes broke, so evidently, whatever it was, it was a little bit later. And we got a, another beaver, looks like. Yep. Well, I guess I was wrong. I didn't think we'd do all that whoopee and 
And we're doing pretty good. The browner set's really working. Oh, hell. Come on, get out of there. Not quite as big as the last one. Oh, man. Oh, that's a decent beaver, isn't it? So, evidently still got it. Their grandpa, my uncle, is the one that taught. Really kind of what first got me into the trapping pretty hard. And what we got going here? And definitely on the water side of things. And it's it's working. These drowners are working awesome. I like that. Can't beat that. We got another caster set over there, which this was the best looking spot on beavers, so. Not real surprised that it's working. Austin did call this spot. He thought this looked like the best one we had out, which they've been coming up using it pretty heavy. Got a little slew up there that they're going up to. Well, he stinks a little bit. I can smell him. Good news is, is now we're gonna have plenty of caster. So let's see. The next couple weekends we target keep targeting these. We'll have plenty of scent. My buddy's gonna be excited. He loves eating beaver. Which if anybody's ever had them, they are actually they really are pretty good. <laughs> 